All right, hey, Shalom on my count. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Padash, the Bible of the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there. Pushing the knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one they can be called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one they can be called God, the one they can be called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the most sign the son, you must say Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be or he is. Bahashim means in the name. And Yahweh Shah means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. We'll Let's start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. And Tabata Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The body y'all by Shimmy Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And the body y'all by Shimmy Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. And the body y'all by Shimmy Shai for giving me this opportunity to receive this word and teach his word in sincerity and truth. Lord willing to the end. All right, coming back, catch you another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And we're going to start off with Ezekiel chapter 25. Verse 12 to 14, because the, our whole mission here, the main focal thing, the Mosai is raising up the sons of Zion against the sons of Greece for vengeance, who are the Edomites and the rest of these Nick, well, it start off with Esau. For vengeance, for vengeance, for all the wickedness he has done to us. Starting off with the house of Judah, then down to the house of Israel, man. Speaking, this is this is all biblical stuff, because he continued with his, with his lynching, because we are in the war, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say two nations dealing with the the birth of Jacob and Esau. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated, man. That has not changed. So we're gonna jump right into it. Ezekiel twenty five and twelve. Thus said the Lord God, because that Edom so-called white race, starting off with the elites of this society, Edom had dealt against the house of Judah. Who is the house of Judah? So the Negroes of America, the so-called Africans, Americans, it's number one, then you got the so-called West Indians, the people of Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, the Bahamas, Barbados, St. Kitts, St. Croix, um, all them, all them islands out there that you got throughout the uh, South America, all right? You got Guyana, you got J uh, Benjamin in um, um, Venezuela, Suriname, okay? We spread, you know, out. Benjamin got, got we got, doing the Willie Lynch era, man, they really messed up Benjamin because, you know, pretty wild. Wow, that's a wild-ass tribe. You understand? I got a fucking a crazy temper. Then you got um, the tribe of Levi, who are the so-called Haitians, man. You understand? That's the house of Judah. All right? Our Lord and Savior is from the, the loins. I'm sorry. It's from the tribe. It is evident that our Lord, our, our Lord and, and Savior, Salak, your brothers, sprang out, out of Judah, so-called Negro, Negroes. So the Messiah, HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai, is a so-called black man. All right? So you, man, the Lord is raising us up to take vengeance through spiritual power, man. We're not out here grilling you, you know, you devils and doing, I am not doing a damn thing to you. If the Most High used me to be his battle axe and weapons war, I'll be grateful as hell. Because the energy he's going to give his men is not of our own. We get yeah, brothers work out, brothers into the, you know, martial arts and all that. That's, it just, that's what we is. We are the sons of Jacob. And as a man, you should know how to defend yourself, man. Plain and simple. All right? So, it ain't, ain't for us. Like, oh, man, I'm going to go out here and I'm not doing nothing. 
The Mosai is gonna do is gonna do all the work, man. All right. Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly, greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. Okay. Man, and that's, that's, that's the Lord. Oh, man, this is the Bible speaking. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger, according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord God, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Now, peep this. According to reasons, black people were lynched. According to the Equal Justice Initiative's report of reported lynchings. John Stoner was lynched in Doss, Louisiana in 1909 for suing the white man who killed his cow. Frank Dodd was lynched in DeWitt, Arkansas in 1916 for annoying a white woman. Ernest Green and Charlie Lang, both 14, were lynched in Shibuta, Mississippi in 1942 after a white girl said they were threatening. Oliver Moore was lynched in Edgecombe County, North Carolina in 1930 for frightening a white girl. Henry Patterson was lynched in Mobile, Florida in 1926 for asking a white woman for a drink of water. Elizabeth Lawrence was lynched in Birmingham, Alabama in 1933 for reprimanding white children who threw rocks at her. Jesse Thornton was lynched in Laverne, Alabama in 1940 for addressing a white police officer without the title Mr. A black construction worker was lynched at Camp Blanding, Florida in 1941 for insisting that a white co-worker return his shop. Reasons black people were lynched. See that, man? And these things have continued throughout the ages, especially with uh, pr uh, police brutality. No man perish being innocent, but the most I have shown you, this man still has hatred for you. This is not our rest. So the Lord is raising up the sons of Zion. Let me uh, find it real quick. Against the sons of Greece. That's why you're here, brother. This is not something to take lightly. You know? You gotta remember the mission. We on the mission. Regardless of what the fuck is going on. Regardless of what happened. We still on a mission. And the Lord is the judge. I fear him. I fear you how well you have a shot, man. And I'm going to speak the truth 100%. And, and, and that's that. It's integrity will take you a long way, man. In life. In this truth, period. Now, Jake might not believe whatever it is, but the most side is going to reveal everything. And we all need mercy, man. That's that. This is Zechariah chapter 9, verse uh, 12. Turn he to the stronghold who he prisoners of hope. We're prisoners here. Of hope. Of hope. We are worms, man. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have been Judah, that's the house of Judah right there, Negro tribes of the elect for me and fill the bowl with Ephraim. So we, we have the most sides bringing back the north and the south into one, one power structure, man, with spiritual power. Scripture clearly says Ephraim shall not vex Judah. You know how you go and Judah shall not vex Ephraim, something like that. Through the elect. Through the elect, a lot of issues, it would be that serious. It'd be about nothing. Egos and, and fucking whatever the hell it is. That's Satan. But the elect will fight through all that. And will be brutally honest with one another. Got time for no games, no time for lies, none of that shit. Okay, and raise up thy sons of Zion against thy sons, O Greece. Those are the Edomites. All right, they, they first power structure started with the Greek, the Greek Empire on the Alexander and his four generals. Started with Alexander, but the power went down to his four generals, and the Roman Empire came back. I mean, pretty much came up right after that, and then after that, you know, the Dark Ages. Not 
well, well you had the Ed's Nine Dynasty and led it to the Dark Ages. Well, well, Jake came back into power. But well, Lee Esau ultimate power doing on the Renaissance period. The mid 1400s, the late 1400s, and his, and his he, we had the height of his rule. Well, he met his height of his rulership. Now he's on his way down. He's on his way out after the 19, the late 1960s, man. So it's a circle in the drain. So the Lord is raising us up, man. Not to be at each other's throats and doing some bunch of fake ass, punk ass shit. We are in the war. Okay? So the Lord's going to make us his weapons. All right? And the Lord shall be seen over them. Then look at the chariots. And his arrow shall go forth as lightning. Those arrows are the laser beams and lightning bolts, man. And the Lord God shall blow the trumpet and shall go with the whirlwinds of the south, the ram's horn. So a, a great fucking time is coming, man. And, I, and I'm going to say this, man. The Lord be showing me, you know, I be on the road a lot because I'm a trucker. And sometimes I look up. Spirit be like, look up. And they be, they be right there. And I see a flash of light. They be like, no way. And then, they'll, they'll, and then you know, I got to pay attention on the road. And I look back up. It's not there because there's a lot of planes out here. I was like, oh, wow, man. The Lord is dealing. Then you, I see a lot of uh, spiritual numbers right after that. 144 and license plates on trucks. Like, oh, shit. The Lord is dealing, man. The Heavenly Father has given me an opportunity to have, to have a chance here. Let no man take thy crown. The hell? Anyways, um, and it says, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south, and the, and the Lord of hosts shall defend them. So we're going to be defended, man. And they shall devour and subdue with sling stones, and they shall drink and make a noise as through wine, and they shall be filled like bowls as the corners of the altar. All right? So pretty much, you know, the Lord is raising us up for, for this particular reason. He's going to use us to take vengeance on our enemies and take back our planet and, and have joint air rulership with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Isn't that beautiful? You know? So I'm going to close out with Obadiah. And Lord willing, we part of that number, you know. That's the ultimate goal here. You know? Obadiah 1 and 10, it says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. See, these lynchings, and they, they, yo, check out this book called Without Sanctuary, man, if you have a chance, or buy that book. I used to have that book. So I fucking motherfucker stole my bag years ago. I'm still salty about that shit, man. But anyhow, in that book, we got the information from our apostles and elders. In that book, man, not only lynched us, they burned us. They barbecued, man, but it was fucking crazy. Chopped our rods, all types of shit you devils did, man. All right, stone over the house of Judah. And, and, and man, we already know about what you did to the northern brothers. You did some fucked up shit over there too, man. I'm not, trying, I'm not excluding our northern brothers and sisters. My God, but we understand why. So now your turn is coming, man. Your turn is fucking coming, man. So giving all praises to Yahweh Shimia Shai Shalom.